Hi guys, I'm back for part two of your conscience. The last time I talked about it, your conscience being like a candle that God lights inside of each person. Your conscience tells you what's right and what's wrong. It's like a light inside of your spirit that God puts there so we'll all know which way to go and what to do and what not to do. So today, I want to talk to you some more about your conscience. In Romans 8, 14, it says, when you're a child of God, meaning when you ask Jesus to be your savior, you are led by the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit lives inside of you and leads and guides and directs you. And one way the Holy Spirit does that is through our conscience. He doesn't call us up on his cell phone and tell us what to do. He speaks to us in a small, little, quiet voice inside of our spirit. And the Holy Spirit communicates with our spirit. Our spirit can direct us through our conscience, which will tell us if something is right or something is wrong. So everybody has a conscience. Even people that don't know God or don't know Jesus have a conscience and they know right from wrong. And the Bible says, no one is without excuse of knowing right and wrong because every person is born with a conscience. Now, something can happen to us along the way if we don't listen and obey our conscience. Last time we talked about how that light can get dimmer and dimmer and get extinguished. But there's something else the Bible says, another way that, he des that they describe it in God's word is that our conscience can get burned. So I want to talk to you about toast. Do you like toast? I like toast and I like bread. Now this piece of bread is a nice, fresh, soft piece of bread. I can do lots of things with it. I can make peanut butter and jelly. I can put butter on it. I can put Nutella on it. That would be really good. So lots of things I can do with a piece of bread. And when it's nice and fresh and soft, then it's really yummy to eat and yummy to do things with. And God wants our conscience to stay nice and fresh and soft so he can speak to us. But what happens if we begin to go against our conscience and not listen? We, we may start to burn our conscience a little bit. I've got a toaster here with some bread. Now say, you know, your friend asks you to do something that your conscience tells you is wrong. Well, it's kind of like, you know, putting in a toaster. And then it pops up and you think, eh, it wasn't so bad. And then you go along with it again the next time. Mm, yeah. Hey, I did it twice. Nothing happened. No lightning from heaven. Then you decide to do that sin again. Hey, I've already done it twice. Three times won't hurt, right? And so little by little, your conscience is getting more and more and more burnt. And before you know it, you're like, I've done that so many times. Nothing, nothing happened to me bad. And I don't think it's wrong anymore. Well, by then, your conscience is burned. It's seared. In fact, there's a Bible verse in 1 Timothy 4, 2 that says that people um, who pretend to be what they're not, their sense of right and wrong has been destroyed. It's like they've been burned with a hot iron or their conscience has been seared. In other words, they're like burnt toast. Would you want to eat that? Not me. That wouldn't be good no matter what you put on it. Even Nutella wouldn't make this taste good. And so when your conscience gets burned and seared, you can't feel the Spirit of God anymore. You don't even know what's right and wrong. And I don't think I want to be like this burnt toast. I want to be like this, a soft, fresh piece of bread that the Spirit can speak to, and I still know what's right and wrong, and I'm good and useful to God for lots of different things. God can't use burnt toast. So let me ask you this. Ask yourself some questions this week. Can you think of a time when you knew your conscience was telling you right from wrong? I bet you can think of something. What about you? Do you usually listen when your conscience is telling you to do something? 
It could be telling you to do something good. Or it can be telling you not to do something bad. And why do you think God gave you a conscience? We've talked about that. It's another way that the Holy Spirit can speak to us and lead and guide and direct our lives. So you think about those questions this week. And I hope that you'll want to be like fresh bread and not burnt toast. <laughs>